Uh, Tim, this is probably a very old question, but how has this, how has this past year been for you since winning the World Series? It's been good. I mean, uh, you know, it just gives us and opens our, our eyes to what we're capable of doing, you know, uh, with this season, and uh, you know, it gives us something to reflect back on uh, when we know things are going hard and we're getting through the grind, and you know, we know it's possible that we can get back to where we were. How about you on a personal basis? It seems that ever since you came up with the Giants, you've, you've, you've got a lot of attention, whether it's for your delivery, whether it's for your hair. Has it been just strange for you to live a normal life and go out and just and be yourself? Yeah, it's a little different, but I mean, it's something I've kind of gotten used to, and I'm not a guy that goes out all that much anyway, so, you know, when when you go out, you take it you know, with a grain of salt when it's, when, it's not, when it's uncomfortable, but you appreciate it all the same. At the All-Star Game, with the exception of Prince Fielder, the San Francisco Giants got, got booed louder than anybody else when they were, when they were introduced. Yeah. Is that kind of how, how it is for you guys where you go because you're world champions or? or no, or I feel like um, with the exception of that All Star game, I think we got a pretty good following of uh, fans wherever we go, and you know there's a there's that, that awesome appreciation that they show from what we were able to do last year, and you know it's still in the back of their minds that uh, you know like I said we we're, we're capable of doing that again this year. How about here in San Diego? You seem to, you guys seem to get a very good following, whether it's not because fans your fans are afraid to go to L. A. or whatever, but. But you get a huge reception, Brian Wilson, when he comes in, he gets a pretty good reception too. Is that kind of strange for you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's kind of grown a little bit over the, the past few years, especially with, like I said, what we did, did last year, so we got a lot more fans that way. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you see a lot of black, you see a lot of black and orange in the stands, uh, you know, here in San Diego. It's nice to have that. Might be a strange question, but with with Buster Posey, which is a huge blowout for the entire year, you guys are almost playing better baseball. I'm not. You, is it, there's a there's a resiliency about this team. It's because you guys know you can win. You know you can win these close games. The pitching you have. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, that's always kind of been our MO. Is just you know keep the game close, and you know hopefully in the end of the game, if if we need to nitpick a little bit or score a run, we always kind of rally that way. Um, our guys kind of turn it on at the end of the game. And obviously, we got our bullpen that you know picks up the innings for us and, and we also do just you know racks up the save so when you know you got that the pitcher doesn't have to be perfect necessarily but I mean when you're going out there you're shooting for full perfection um, but all the same you know it's going to be a close grinded game and you know we're going to come out on top most of the time. A couple random questions that come from our listeners one they want to know do you pack a blow dryer wherever you go? No I don't. Uh, could, you grow, could you grow a beard like Brian Wilson if you wanted to? Uh, no, I can't. I'm not even, not even close. I can really grow a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did you think of his SB outfit? Uh, unique. And I don't know. Um, I don't know if I have any other words for that. I mean, I, I, I come to mind. It's just uh, a little strange, but that's that's Brian Wilson esque right there. Toughest, the toughest, toughest batter for you to strike out nationally. Toughest batter? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think about that. I've always, I, I've, I don't think I've ever struck out Todd Helton. Todd Helton's probably the toughest for me. Is that right? Yeah. And, and what I think I've only gotten like, I think I've only gotten one swing and miss in my entire career against him. It's strange, but it's, I think it's true. Maybe one or two. Wow, I'm going to check that then. Yeah. Okay, and uh, you're, you're a Pac-12 guy, or a Pac-10 guy, but yeah. a Pac-12 guy. Is you a big Husky fan? Uh, yeah, I mean, I follow him when I can. Uh, but like most guys in the, in the clubhouse say, it's, you know, turn the page. You know, obviously, you know, in the last few years, I've, I've kind of gotten away from it. You know, I mean, other than going back home, uh, I haven't been able to got a chance to uh, you know, follow any of the teams. Obviously, they got the good basketball team that you see on TV. And yeah. I think that Jake Walker you know, gets a lot of recognition with the football team, and now he's on his way to a professional career. Um, outside of that, uh, yeah, I haven't been following it too much. Including the teams, and how about the NFL teams in the Bay Area? Do you do that, or do you have a chance uh, to do that? I don't watch a lot of football. Not too much. And you were you were you were caught at a uh, at a Seahawks game, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was it was my first time at uh, Quest Field, so that was fun for me. And getting raised to fly was uh, a sweet experience, just because you know, everybody rallies around it, especially in the beginning of the game. I mean, they, it's it's detrimental to uh, you know their success there, and they feed off of it. Okay, and outside of baseball, what are some of the things that you can do to go ahead and enjoy yourself, especially um, in the off season? The off season, well, I'm up in Seattle, so I mean, we get a lot of rain and you know, cold weather, so not doing too much up there other than uh, last year I bought my house, so just kind of decorating that, and I spent time with my puppies and a couple of friends here and there, but that's about it. Thank you very much. You got it.